Well, many people here in Maryland may have taken family or having family for granted. For those in the LGBTQ community, it isn't always an easy process. Many still face challenges to foster and adopt. So as we wrap up Pride Month, Amy Kawada is shining a light on LGBTQ adoptive families. I've always wanted to be a father, honestly, as long as I can remember. For David Marshall, having a son like Josiah was something he only once dreamed of. I started the adoption journey in January of 2015. I was that lone single man sitting in the room, feeling a bit intimidated, just because, as you can imagine, most people were heterosexual couples in the room. While David's two year process went seamlessly, he understands that's not always the case for everyone. We don't have many of the barriers that other southern states have in terms of really being shut out of the process because of being gay. The adoption process here in Maryland um, is pretty straightforward for same sex couples. Maryland doesn't treat same sex couples any differently. Than heterosexual couples. But recent data by the Movement Advancement Project shows 12 states have laws allowing child welfare agencies to refuse to place or provide services to LGBTQIA people and same sex couples. Who determines who is qualified to be a parent? If you have love within your heart, then you are qualified to be a parent. That's what inspired David to create Journey to Josiah, a nonprofit organization aimed to help educate and connect families with the gift of adoption. My organization helps families avoid the pitfalls and problems as it pertains to adoption. And David is not quite done growing his own family. He says he plans to go through this process once more. I have my boy, now I need a little girl. Amy Kawada for WJZ.